hey what's going on guys my name is Jim Fahad in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this kind of creative looking banner section using Elementor free version and everything you can see in this banner section like you can see here a background curved background it's not a static image background it's a gradient background so you can easily switch this color to your favorite color also you can change the curve position or rotation the way you want like I said, I will create this section from scratch so you can just follow along. Not only that, I will also show you how you can make it super responsive for mobile device so it would look really great on mobile device, also on tablet view, everything. Alright, so now I'm gonna delete this entire section and I wanna recreate the whole section from scratch. So first I'm deleting this section. So first let's take a new section, to take a new section let's click on this plus icon and I want to select this two column structure. So first let's make this section to full width and section height I want to set it to minimum height and then here minimum height I want to make it in VH that's a viewport height. Let's make it 100 VH. So it will cover the whole height of the viewport. Let's now go under the style tab. So you already know if you wanna give it a background color you can do that from here background type if we select classic from here you can select any solid color like red or black but I wanna give it a gradient type color so I'm selecting the gradient option. So first I wanna set the gradient primary color to this yellowish color that's a hash FF B400 and the secondary color to pure white. Alright, so first let's have a look here. The main purpose of using gradient color is to blend two colors. So first I want to turn off that blend mode and for that reason I want to make this secondary location to zero. So I'm dragging it to the left like this and now you can play with this location to set the position you desire. So I'm setting it to 24 and now you can play with this angle the way you want like this or this so i wanna make the angle something like this let's keep it 70 awesome and you know what the secondary color i have set it to white but i wanna make it a dark color like black so i'm selecting the secondary color to black that hash 111111 like this okay now inside the left column i wanna insert an image so i'm clicking on this plus icon let's drag an image widget here inside let's now select the image i wanna select this image and click on insert media it looks super big so let's go under style tab and maximum width i wanna set it to 80 or 85 percent now let's add some border radius with it so i want to add 30 pixel border radius around this image perfect now as we have taken two columns so they are both 50 percent but i want to make the left column to 30 or 40 percent let's make it 40 percent so let's now click on this column icon and here column width let's make it 40 so by default the right column will become 60 percent here we can see it's 60. Now inside this right column first I want to take a heading widget here and I want it to say um, Jim Fahad. Let's now do some styling with this heading so let's go under style tab. The text color I want to make it to this yellowish color and now let's go inside typography. So I want to make this font to Poppins. Font size let's make it 51. Font weight a bit bolder 700 is fine. All right, now I just want to duplicate this. So I'm right clicking here and click on duplicate. And here instead of I'm um, Jim Fahad, I want it to say web designer and I want to make its color to white. Now to reduce the in between space of this two heading, I want to add some negative margin to the first heading. So just click on this pencil icon, go under advanced tab, unbind the margin and let's add some negative margin at the bottom let's keep it minus 35 perfect now let's add a paragraph so i'm clicking on this rubik's cube icon and dragging a text editor widget underneath this heading here and here i'm pasting some text 
now let's do some styling so from under style tab text color i want to set it to white now let's do some typography font family i want to make it open sense this one font size let's make it 16 pixel and let's add some line height maybe 2m yep it looks perfect all right now underneath this paragraph i want to add a button so again click on this rubik's cube icon here's the button widget just drag this underneath this paragraph here first instead of click here i want to say more about me and then here i want to add an icon so i'm clicking here on icon library and here i'm searching for a plain icon let's select this one and click on insert and i want to set the icon position to after and let's add some icon spacing nine is fine now let's do some styling with this button so go under style tab from typography font family i want to make it poppins font size 15 pixel let's set font weight to 700 and line height 1.4 is fine all right now by default the text color is white that's fine for me but the background color i want to make it transparent so i'm just dragging this bar to the very left here and let's now add some border so here's the border type i'm selecting it to solid and border with one pixel now border color i want to add that yellowish color and now let's set some border radius with it so i'm adding 35 pixel and now here is the padding option so first let's unbind it on the top i want to add 16 pixel also on bottom 16 pixel and on the right 50 pixel and left i want to add 50 pixel so the button looks perfect now now i just want to add a hover color so here under hover state i just want to change its color to that yellowish color so if we now hover over on this button it becomes that yellowish color perfect and now i only add some space at the top of this button so from here under advanced tab first let's unbind the margin and i'm adding top 45 pixel also in the right column i want to add some padding at the left and right so i'm clicking on this column icon from under advanced tab let's now unbind the padding on the right i want to add 20 pixel of padding and on the left 10 pixel is fine but you know what i want to do it in percentage so here instead of pixel let's set it to percentage and here right let's add 20 percent and on the left let's add 10 percent now it looks more decent now to save our work just click on this green update button and let's have a look how it's looking on tablet and mobile view so let's now go to the responsive mode from here so here it's showing the mobile view but first i want to adjust the tablet view so from top here you can see the tablet icon i'm clicking here on this tablet icon so everything is almost okay but we need to reduce the font size of these headings so let's just select the heading go under style from here typography only for tablet device i want to set it to 36 pixel and same for the secondary header from typography here i'm setting it to 36 pixel let's now select the paragraph from here typography of this paragraph i just wanna reduce the line height so from here line height i wanna set it to 1.6 and for this button let's just select this button i just wanna reduce this top margin to do it just unbind the margin it's all set so it's now looking great on tablet device now have a look how it's looking on mobile device so from top i'm clicking on this mobile icon all right it looks okay but i want to make it really really cool on mobile device so the first thing i want to do i want to switch these two column so these headings this text and the button will go at this top area and this image will go under this so to switch these two sections let's just click on the six dots to select this whole section now go on red fonts tab then click on the responsive tab here so here you will find the reverse options 
so i only want to reverse these two sections on mobile device so here reverse columns mobile i'm turning it on now these two columns are reversed now let's just adjust everything for mobile so first i want to add some spacing at the top so we are already under advanced tab from here click on advanced so first unbind the padding and let's add 80 pixel padding at the top now the heading first i wanna make it centered so under content here i wanna set the alignment to centered for mobile device also i wanna reduce the font size so from under style tab here is the typography i'm setting the font size to 34 and same for the second heading let's make the alignment first to centered and then from under style tab here is the typography let's set the size to 34 pixel also i want to add some spacing in between these two headings so from under advanced tab unbind the margin and let's add 10 pixel margin at the top also i want to make this paragraph text to centered so let's just select it from under style tab here alignment let's make it centered but now you may notice we have set everything these two headings and these paragraphs all to centered but you see it's not perfectly centered because we have added some padding at the left and right on the desktop device so we need to remove that from mobile device so i'm clicking on this column icon now just unbind the padding from here this time let's add 20 pixel padding at the right and 20 pixel padding on the left and finally also let's make this button alignment to centered so from here alignment for mobile device let's make it centered perfect now it's looking great on mobile device also looks great on tablet device and desktop device and of course whenever you are done with all your work just save on this green update button so you won't lose any of your hard work so this is it if you like it please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel also please place on that bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever i'll upload a new video on this youtube channel and if you need any kind of professional help or if you want me to create a complete website for you then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com i will see you in the next video for now bye bye